Hello and welcome to this um, webinar on the Certificate 4 in Human Resource Management and the Certificate 4 in Project Management. So to start with, with HR, so why would you study HR and project management? The human resource and project management qualifications from TASTAFE can lead to a range of employment opportunities, including a human resources manager or officer, a project manager or a project officer. The certificate four in human resource is a part-time mixed learning program. Now, the qualification is online and we have also put forward some workshops which we do in Devonport and also in Hobart. Now these workshops are not compulsory, they are to value add to the qualification and it does help people um, get a greater understanding of human resources and also enables them to do some networking with other students who would be completing this qualification. Now this is a 12 month pathway and there are 12 units that you need to achieve in that time. So in this course you will learn the practical skills needed in the human resources profession. You'll develop your skills in how to have a difficult conversation, manage workers' compensation, administer performance development processes, support employees and industrial relations, and support the learning and development of teams and individuals. You'll also learn how to coordinate recruitment and onboarding, support the human resource function and processes, and implement and monitor work health and safety policies, procedures, and programs. Now the course entry requirements, there are no essential entry requirements into this course. We do, however, advise that um, people should have access to a workplace or to policies and procedures. If you haven't, we do have some that we can share with you, but we find that when you are actually working and able to apply this qualification as you go through it, people seem to find this a very rewarding qualification. Now, the timetable for this, basically it is online learning. The workshops are put out at the start of the semester and these workshops are repeated um, throughout the year. So if you were to miss one of them and you really wanted to do it, you'd be able to um, jump in the next time that it's actually delivered. Now it is online learning, so what you're actually doing is reading the resources, answering the questions, and then at the end of it, um, we have Teams meetings with you, or if you want, we can do face to face meetings where we go through the performance evidence to complete the unit. Now, the certificate four in project management practice for solving unique problems. So, this study mode is mixed learning, so it's online and it's considered part time. Online study support sessions are also available. These are put out to all people attending um, and they are optional. You do not have to attend the support sessions. They are just there to assist if you are um, struggling with a unit or a question or um, an assignment. Now, this is also a 12 month pathway. This qualification is suitable for autonomous individuals who identify and apply project management skills and knowledge in a wide variety of contexts. Individuals in these roles might be members of a project team with no direct responsibilities for overall project outcomes. Primarily, these roles would support wider project operations. 
Now, there are no essential entries for this unit, but we do recommend that you have a workplace as this does make the assessments a lot easier if you can apply it to a live workplace. The timetable for this, it's expected the study time would be eight to 20 hours per week. Learners will attend webinars and online discussions. Online support webinars are held on Tuesdays between one and four. If you needed to make contact with your assessor outside of those times, um, we are able to do that and set up another time that may be more suited to you. Now, completing assessment tasks. Assessments will be conducted throughout and at the completion of each unit of learning. For some assessments, you will be asked to come into TAFE um, campus so that we can observe your skills, or we could do this via Teams as well. The majority of assessments will be conducted through, through the online learning platform. If you meet all the assessment criteria, you will be awarded the full certificate for in project management or the certificate for in human resources management. If you do not meet the full criteria of this course, you will be awarded what's called a statement of attainment. And this documents the units that you have completed. Now, what is expected from you? A full time study load usually is between six to 10 units per semester. A semester is half of a year. All units have at least one assessment per unit. You are required to work on these units outside of class times. This may involve revision of work covered in a class, preparation for the next lesson, completion of class activities and assessment work. Now the course fees and associated costs. The fee that you pay at TASTAFE will depend on the course that you choose and may vary depending on the level of government subsidy available. The cost of delivery, any previous study you have undertaken and or your personal circumstances. To find out more about the fees and payments, you'll be able to find this on our website. If you go to the course page, you'll be able to access the fee calculator. Now the application process. So applications will open on the 29th of May. If you visit the website and go to the apply and enroll page and watch our applying at TAS TAFE presentation. After you have submitted your application, keep an eye out on your emails as we advise the outcome of your application or if we need further information from you, that will also be done through email. Now student support, if you need assistance or study or support during your time at TAS TAFE, please don't hesitate to contact one of our student counsellors we also have disability liaison officers and Aboriginal support officers for help. We offer a range of student services, including support with additional literacy and numeracy, study skills, advice about financial assistance, counselling, disability support, and also career planning. If you call the 1300 655 307 to make an appointment or visit the student support section on our website. That concludes our formal presentation. Now let's answer your questions. So does anyone have any questions? Remember, you just put that into the chat 
and um, either Tracy or myself will be able to answer those questions for you. Okay, so one of the questions was, do you need to be employed? No, you don't, but it is recommended that if you are going to undertake either one of these qualifications, having a workplace does make it a lot easier when it comes to the assessments. So one of the questions, can you complete faster than 12 months? Absolutely. This is what we call competency based completion. So as soon as you have finished the units, then you get your certificate. Um, it does mean that you need to put in a little bit extra time, but we do find that quite a few of our students um, push through and complete at about the nine month mark, if not sooner. Can this be done 100% online? Um, yes, it can. We do need to have um, Teams meetings with you throughout um, to finish off some of the assessment requirements that we have. Is there likely to be another intake early next year? Absolutely. We do an intake in February every year and then the second one is in July. If you don't complete in 12 months, can you get an extension? Um, what happens in this process is um, we can request an extension, um, but they'll only grant an extension if we can see that there's only about two units to complete. If there's still six units to complete, they won't extend it out for you. Are there fast tracked options? Um, look, it's up to you. It's um, the, the faster you answer the questions and do the assessments, the faster you can move through this qualification. Um, so with the HR qualification, can it be done outside work hours and is it all online? Yes and yes. So, is class time mandatory during the day? Is class time mandatory during the day? No, it's not. Um, the workshops that we put on are to value add to the qualification. You do not have to attend them, um, but we do find those that do attend do actually move through the qualification quicker. Recognition. Is recognition available? Absolutely. With every qualification that TAS TAFE offers, um, there is recognition available. In the online platform that um, Tracy and I use, um, there is a skills assessment in there. So it actually documents what you need to submit for recognition and then Tracy and myself would have what's called a competency conversation with you um, to see if you have passed it through via recognition. Will team meetings be at a time that suits both parties? Um, we do endeavour, yes.
is there a mandatory time commitment for the qualification? Um, in the presentation, it did mention eight to 20 hours a week. Um, but again, it's up to you. It's it's um, an adult learning environment. Um, some people need a little bit longer because it takes them a bit longer to read the resources. Um, others just really get through it pretty quickly. The course is starting July. Semester two. Um, and when you go through the application process, we'll actually have a start date for each of the qualifications that you're looking at, um, advising you of when you will be sent the online platform. I'm full time. Can this be done after hours? Absolutely. Um, I would say with the HR students, I would say 85% of them are full time. Um, and they do a lot of these qualifications outside of that time. Um, so the question was, how long does it take from when you apply to when you actually are told? There's usually a, approximately a three to four week turnaround on these. Um, depending on the number of applications that have come in. Um, but I must say with applications, it is first in, first served. Um, there are limited numbers for each of these qualifications. And that's all the questions that we've got, unless anyone else has got something more. Apply to project management course as well, i.e., being able to do it after hours. Does that apply to the project management course? Absolutely. Yes, it does. Okay, thanks very much for joining us. Um, remember, if you go back to the TASTAFE website, um, that's where you'll be able to find uh, the application button. And you'll also be having, able to have a look at the course fees for these qualifications. And if you need some support, please don't hesitate to call out to our um, student counsellors as they will be able to help you um, through this process also. Thanks very much and we hope to see you um, in these qualifications. Thanks.